The Medeka Generation's contributions are being recognized on film with a series of four short films called Medeka Stories 2. And they're the sequel to a previous series, Medeka Stories, which explored the current lives and roles of the Medeka Generation in Singapore today. And for more, we're speaking now to Singaporean playwright Jean Tay, who wrote both the first installation and its sequel, and Don Aravind, director of the short film A Teacher's Education. Thanks very much for joining us this evening. Uh, Don, perhaps I'll start with you. Firstly, Teacher's Education, give us a sense of what the story is like and, and just how closely the characters you work with actually resemble the, the real characters you're depicting. I see. Okay. Um, so, Teacher's Education is about, uh, it follows the life of a, of a teacher and how our inspiration to continue learning and it traces back to how much the family was in poverty but you know she, she, she got the courage to continue and mm. had the support of her sister and her mother and it takes a lot of inspiration from Barbara Dicotta uh, who actually did her degree when she was like 60 mm. and uh, her master's degree when she was 60 so she was the first point of inspiration for this film and of course, being in, in the Tamil language, uh, I had a lot of personal inspirations as well from my own teachers, who are a lot of them actually from the Mandika generation. Mm. Okay, um, Jean, so what are some of the challenges working for this sequel? Because, you know, you have to bring um, themes of uh, society, family, active aging and lifelong learning, you know, all, all into this, um, you know, Mandika stories too. And they're very short stories. They're about like yes. three minutes as yes, well. That's right. I mean, so one, you know, question is how much time do you actually have to tell the story in such a succinct manner? Yeah, I think that's exactly, that's the biggest challenge because their lives are so rich. Um, and how do you squeeze that all into th three minutes, right, worth of, uh, of a film? Uh, so I think, um, I mean, we had a lovely time, I think, interviewing different members of the Medeka generation and they were really inspiring and, and they had so many stories to share. So I think in the first season of the Medeka stories, we really focused on their early lives and, you know, in the 1970s, the period of nation building. But for this series, the second series, we wanted to focus more on, I think, that ongoing journey, you know, and what they continue to do to challenge themselves to, and, you know, continue to be an inspiration. Um, and uh, yeah, I think we managed to capture certain moments in their lives and certain um, uh, turning points, uh, you know, even in, when they're in the Medeca generation. Yeah, like yeah. snapshots. I, I, I watched right. it. So it's like little snapshots of their life right. in, in, into, yeah. you know, this three minutes. It's, it's really very powerful. I yes. feel it really portrays yeah. that story. Um, Dawn, I watched the um, teacher's um, education. Where do you... Okay, what that's was, a, I mean, what's the that, research like, right? Yeah, I mean, that's a is, lot. Is, is, is Barbara Dakota that, that, that yeah. you drew inspiration out from the people that your teachers that you used to know? I mean, what did, what was that like? You you met up with them over coffee and you talked about their yeah. Experiences. How did you pick her to do to tell that story? Why her? Why not somebody else? Um, Jean, you <laughs> might have a bet. Yeah, we. I mean, Jean got her. We got her and we spoke about all about her life mm -hmm. and. Um, she had this very uh, personal story in her, like, you know, it's something which we don't even think mm -hmm. that we might be able to do, you know. If you ask me now to go and do my master's or whatever, yeah. I think I'm just going to struggle with it. But for her, I think she was just so passionate in, in giving back. Yeah. And that really struck back to yeah. what that generation had, mm -hmm. you know, which is something, I mean, I'm very far off, like, yeah. So yeah, I think the other thing was also uh, because from I think the age of 19, uh, when she finished her A levels, you know, and she decided to actually to teach in the school for the deaf. Mm. So and she made that choice not to go to NIE, but to actually you know to to, to teach um, hearing impaired uh, children. And I think she continued with that journey throughout. Um, yeah, actually, mm. with her whole career. Ha has she seen the film? Yeah. And and what has she said about it? I mean, you know, does she say that you know it really closely you know encapsulates everything that I've told you, or she says, oh, it's too far from that. You know, it's, too much, <laughs> it's too much drama. I think when she's she what she spoke to me, I think she was a bit silent after that. She was like, you know, it was really good, and and I think she actually saw all the films, and she even teared after she saw mm -hmm. the chef's uh, uh, the Eurasian story. Yeah, the Eurasian yeah, yeah, story. Yeah. yeah. So, I, so think, I, I think she could identify with different moments. Yeah. Okay. So Jean, you, you worked on the first installment as well as this one. Yes. Creatively, yes. how different was the process? Because the treatment of the stories also, also mm. has to be different. Mm, one, right. you're looking at a more macro view. Yes, the next one, you're looking at a right. more personal take. Yes. What was it like for you? Yeah. So I think for the first season, um, really, like you said, it's more macro. It's, it's talking a lot about Singapore and I think, mm. I think that whole idea of nation building and how these individuals came together to, to uh, you know, make the sacrifices, personal sacrifices and, and you know, 
help to shape the nation. Um, so for this one, it was a lot more personal. I think what I really enjoyed was the opportunity to really go and speak to individuals, mm -hmm. you know, um, and really just dig into their stories and, you know, just really personal anecdotes. And some of them may not be huge things, but I think just little examples and ways in which they continue to contribute and give mm. back and to, I think, to pass on their legacy. So that was really nice. So it was really, it was very personal and very intimate, I think. Mm. So what's next for the, the, the two of you? Are you going to explore, you know, more stories? <laughs> um, because they were very compelling. I watched all four and I wanted to watch more. I wanted to hear, you know, different stories as well. And you're right, and the chef, you know, did make me tear. So, you know, what's next for the two of you? Are we going to see Medeka Stories 3? Well, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> maybe something longer. Maybe we can expand their stories in yeah, a longer actually, format. Yeah, we're just saying that actually each one of these stories almost... You, you could make a feature film, you know, each mm -hmm. one. There's, there's just so much. The lives are so rich and there's just so much they have to contribute. And I think how inspiring they are to the, you know, the, generation, the younger generations. Um, but for me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a bit more theatre. I'm going to return to my roots in theatre and, and work on some upcoming plays for the coming year. In, in terms yeah. of the themes that, that you've explored in, in part one and part two installations, yes. going back into your, mm. to your regular, regular jobs, yes. so to speak, yes. uh, has, something, ha, has something really touched you or impacted mm. you that you want to take into your future book as well? Any particular themes that you want to explore? Right, right, right. Um, I think I've, I've just been very touched by the people I've met. Uh, I've just met Singaporeans with such huge hearts. You know, they have such generosity of spirit and just such love. You know, whether it's a foster mom, you know, or a teacher for special needs kids, you know, volunteer lifeguard, you know, a chef who's passing on his legacy. They have such passion, you know, and their passion has sustained them, you know, and it's, it's you know, doesn't, really young at heart. So I think that's... Um, that's something that really inspires me. Mm. You know, how do you keep giving and keep, um, yeah, you know, really inspiring yeah, generations after them. Passion and creative them. content is a, is a sure win, right? Yeah. So, so, well, you have that. All right, thank you so much, guys, for, for coming to studio and chatting with us. We've been speaking there with Don and Jean. We've, uh, Don, of course, uh, directed Merdeka Stories and Jean wrote them.